What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I'd like to do a best class setup for the Ram 7. This is a weapon that I finally finished yesterday, unlocking everything for. It does go to a level of 64. So it is kind of a grind. It's not awful, but some of the best attachments, in my opinion, don't unlock until the end. So this very first little setup here I'm showing you is going to kind of be something you can run to begin with. Stuff you will unlock a little bit sooner. And of course, the first thing is going to be the muzzle brake. That's recoil stabilization, aim down sight speed, and aiming stability cons. That recoil stabilization is a must for this gun. It does have some very hard recoil. It pulls up into the left, and you'll see once you start using this weapon that until you have some things unlocked to help out with that rec uh, recoil stability, that it's very hard to hit targets at medium and long ranges. The next thing is the commando foregrip. And this is a must on this weapon. This is, I run this on every class setup with this gun. Of course, it gives you recoil stability, aiming, uh, aiming stability, of course, a con of movement speed. The good thing is it's the very first grip that you do unlock. And uh, I run the command uh, combat hollow sight. I don't know why. It just was the second sight that I unlocked, and I kind of just stuck with it. I really like it on this gun. You can run whatever sight that you prefer. But this is a very good setup kind of early on, you know, before you get a lot of stuff unlocked. Then once you start getting things unlocked, I go ahead and slap on this XRK Ranger barrel. Now this is one of the last things that you unlock for the gun, but of course it gives you damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, aim down sight speed, and movement speed. And then last but not least, you can go with the stippled grip tape, which is aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed. Of course the con is aiming stability, or you can go with the XRK Ultralight Hollow Stock. This gives you aim walking movement speed and aiming stability. This kind of kind of be like that old classic Call of Duty when you have Stalker on or you have a stock on that lets you strafe a little bit more when ADS. So either this or the stippled grip tape, I would recommend just whichever one that you like. I kind of interchange them out back and forth depending on what map and mode I am playing. So once you finish out at level 64, the weapon would look something like this. And this is a very good setup for this gun. This is a gun, in my opinion, guys, that is as good or better than the M4 in the right hands. It just takes some time to learn how to use this weapon. The recoil and the muzzle flash is a bit different than the M4. Uh, the, like I said, the recoil pulls a lot harder to the left. Recoil management on the M4 is a lot easier to maintain, but once you have kind of learned the way the Ram 7 handles, you can outperform the M4 by a long shot in a lot of different situations because of the fire rate. Personally, right now, I feel this is one of the best guns in the game, if not the best gun in the game when it comes to ARs. I'm just glad they have added something into the game that can compete with the M4 at all ranges. Like I said, this is a gun that just takes a little bit more of a skill to use compared to the M4. Now, this was the kind of class, like I said, that I started out with when I was ranking the weapon up. I finished out with this class right here which is one of my personal favorites that I have used with it so far. This is all I used all day yesterday after I unlocked everything. This is the class that I stuck with. Um, and this class is very, very good in my opinion. I'm not running a sight on this class. If you're going to go iron sights, I would recommend a suppressor because of the muzzle flash. You don't want to have to deal with muzzle flash and recoil. So if you're going to run iron sights, the iron sights are very good in my opinion. I would definitely recommend a suppressor. And the reason this is the class that I ended up with kind of at the end after ranking up the weapon is because the monolithic suppressor does not unlock until the very end. That's going to give a sound suppression damage range, aim down sight speed, aim walking steadiness. Of course, the XRK barrel, another thing that unlocks right at the end, damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, aim down sight speed, and movement speed cons. I'm going to go with the commando foregrip, of course, for that recoil stabilization and aiming stability. Of course, the con of movement speed. The only mag that you can unlock for this gun is the 45 round mag. I put that on when I run a suppressor. I like running extended mags because if I'm going to be kind of, you know, stealthy, kind of playing, you know, behind the enemies, you know, kind of back in like around, you know, if I'm playing domination or uh, ground war, if I'm going to be around their flags that they have capped kind of behind enemy lines, I like to have a suppressor with a lot of ammo. That way, you know, if I'm shooting people in the back, I don't have to worry about reloading very often. And this gun does have a high fire rate, and you're going to be reloading very often, so that 45 round mag is very handy. And last but not least, I've been running the stippled grip tape, like I said, or the ultralight hollow stock. Well, this is the class that I've been sticking with uh, since yesterday when I finished this out. I played for about four or five hours with this setup right here, and I really did enjoy it. But if you're not a fan of, of a suppressor, like I said, you can always go with the first class that I showed you once you get it finished out. And before, like I said, you get it finished out, you can always just run something like this right here. Just make sure 
once you get that muzzle uh, muzzle brake unlocked and that commando foregrip unlocked that you're trying those two together i think these two are two of the best attachments in game because of that recoil stabilization you will start to see the weapon shine and see what it can really do once you have that recoil stabilization on there and you just kind of learn how the weapon handles once again guys there's a lot of different ways you can run this a lot of people are running it with the compact barrel kind of making it a hybrid sub for that fast ads speed personally i feel that it is a pretty decent hybrid sub my only problem is you still have that ar movement speed and your kind of sprint to fire is never going to be as fast with an ar as it is with the sub so i feel it's better used as an ar than a submachine gun but you can try everything out that you want i just wanted to show you a class that i thought or two classes that i thought worked very well for me and hopefully they'll work out for you leave me a comment let me know do you have the ram 7 unlocked yet if so do you like it if you don't if you do not let me know how close you are to unlocking it of course if you liked the video make sure you hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so uh, please do so be sure to click that bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live if you have a chance share the video it does help out the channel a lot and check out the new affiliate here on the channel gt racing they sell gaming chairs and office chairs all their information is linked down in the description and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.